Hi all, I'm Grishma and you are watching my channel G Tutorial. This is the third part of calculus of complex functions. And if you have not watched part 1 and part 2, the link is available below this video. If you are watching my video for the first time, please subscribe my channel for more AI ATC related videos. Now let us get to our portions. Today we are uh, learning about Cauchy's integral formula. If f of f is inside as an analytic function within an enclosed curve C, and A is any point within that closed curve C. Then, closed integral of C, f of z by z minus a, b z is equal to 2 pi i into f of z. This is Cauchy's integral formula. And the special case of this is, if A lies outside this closed curve C, then this integral equates to 0. Now, we can see some of the basic uh, features which we have to understand before uh, learning this Cauchy's integral formula. The first thing we have to understand is singular point or pole or singularity of a function f of z. A point at which the function ceases to be analytic is called singular point or pole or singularity of a function. And uh, if the point z is equal to a is called pole or singular point if Limit is a tends to a, f of z is equal to infinity. We can see an example to understand this. Uh, if the function f of z is given by z minus 4 by z minus 1, then uh, we are applying the limit. Limit is a tends to 1. Numerator term. But it is a denominator term. That is z tends to 1, z minus 4 by z minus 1. Then uh, when we are applying the limits, uh, we will get 1 minus 4 by 1 minus 1, that is minus 3 by 0, which becomes infinity. That is, the limit tends to infinity. So, z is equal to 1 as the pole of the function f of z. And in this example, 2 z square plus 4 z, z minus 1, uh, divided by z minus 1 into z minus 2. The poles are 1 and 2. That is, we obtain uh, the denominator as 0 when z minus 1 becomes 0 and z minus 2 becomes 0. z minus 1 is equal to 0, so z is equal to 1 is a pole and when z minus 2 is equal to 0, z is equal to 2 is the other pole. So, 1 and 2 are the two poles of this function. Next term is order of a point. If f of z can be expressed as p of z by q of z, p of z is a numerator and q of z is a denominator, then z is equal to a is called a pole of order n of the function f of z. Then q of a that is the denominator function uh, where z is substituted by the pole a is equal to the first derivative of the denominator uh, is equal to second derivative q of q that double stretch of a etc. is equal to q raised to n minus 1 of a is equal to 0 and n the derivative of q of a is not equal to 0. Then that pole is called a pole of order n. We can see an example to understand this clearly. If the function f of z is z minus 1 by z minus 2. Here the pole is z is equal to 2. Uh, the denominator q of z is z minus 2. Uh, we have to find the order of this pole z is equal to 2. For that uh, q of a, here a is 2, q of 2 is 2 minus 2 which is equal to 0. So, uh, you can see uh, the first derivative q dash of z which is equal to 1, which is not equal to q dash of 2 is equal to 1, which is not equal to 0. So, q raised to n is the order. Here, uh, q dash of a is not equal to 0. So, the order is 1. Here, the order is 1. Order of this pole z is equal to 2 is 1. Now, we can see another example. f of z is 2 z square plus 5 by z minus 2 the whole square. Here, the pole is z is equal to 2. And the, we have to find the order of the pole. Here, the denominator variable is q of z is equal to z minus 2 the whole square. What we have to do? We have to... Uh, find the value of q of 2. q of 2 is 2 minus 2 the whole square which is equal to 0. Then we have to take the second derivative. The no, first derivative, sorry, q dash of z which is equal to 2 into z minus 2 
and the derivative of z is 1 into 1. Now we have to find the value of q of 2, which is equal to 2 into 2 minus 2, which is also equal to 0. So the order is not 1. So we have to find the, uh, uh, the second derivative, q dash of z, q double dash of z, that is um, derivative of this. Plus 2. And the value of q double dash of 2 is also equal to 2, which is not equal to 0. So the order is the term, the derivative that not tends to 0, that is second order. So the order is 2. Now I think you are clear with the term order of the form. Now we can do a problem. The singularities of the function f of z is equal to 1 by z square plus 4. We are asked to find the singularity of the function or the pole or the singular point of this function. How we have to find the limit of this function tends to infinity for what value of a? That is the denominator terms. Uh, when the denominator tends to 0, the limit tends to infinity. So what we have to do is just equate the denominator to 0. z square plus 4 is equal to 0. That is z square is equal to minus 4. Or z square is, z is equal to root of minus 4. Or 2. Root of minus 1 is i. Plus or minus 2i. The singularity or pole is plus or minus 2i. Which is the required answer. Now we can see some of the closed curves or corners where we are asked to evaluate the value of an integral. If mod z minus a is equal to r represents a circle with center a and radius r. If we are asked to evaluate uh, an integral over the closed curve c which is represented by this mod z minus a is equal to r where here a is the center and r is the radius of that circle. If this, for example, uh, we are asked to uh, evaluate uh, an integral over the closed curve, this mod z is equal to 1. This is a uh, unit circle. Mod z minus 0 is equal to 1. This is the circle with center origin and radius 1. Center origin and radius 1. This is the closed curve. Next question. Mod z minus 1 is equal to 2. This is the circle with the center 1, 0. That is 1, 0 center and radius 2, 3, 0, 1, 2, minus 1, minus 2. Minus 1, minus 2. Center this and then. This is the closed code. Next, we have to take minus as common i plus 1. It's equal to 1. This is the uh, circle with center 1, 1 and radius 1. Center 1, 1. This is the center 2. This is the required circle. Center 1 1 and radius 1 0. Okay. Now we can do some problems with this portion. This is the first problem. Evaluate integral over mod z equal to 1. 2x plus 5 by z minus 2 into z minus 3 into z minus 6 dz. Here the closed curve or contour is mod z equal to 1. It is a unit circle. That's a unit circle. With center as origin 0, 0 and radius 1. Okay. We are asked to evaluate this integral. We have studied Cauchy's integral formula as closed integral over c f of z by z minus a b z is equal to 2 pi i into f of a. Where c is a closed curve like this and z minus a uh, where z is equal to a is the pole. And if the pole lies within this closed curve, the value of this integral is 2 pi i into FFA. And we have studied a special case for this that 
f of z by z minus a dz. If this pole is at is equal to a lies outside the closed curve, then the value of the integral is equal to zero. This is the basic thing we have to understand before doing any problem from this uh, portion. That is evaluate any integral over any closed curve. Now here we are asked to find the integral over this f of z. Here the poles are z is equal to 2, z is equal to 3 and z is equal to 6. z is equal to 2, z is equal to 3, z is equal to 6. We are getting the poles by equating each of this term is equal to 0. Then we will get the poles. I have obtained 2, 3 and 6 as the poles. The, uh, the region of integration is modus z is equal to 1. We have plotted that modus z is equal to 1. Now we have to find, uh, draw the poles 2, 3, z on this. 2, 3 and 6 are outside this unit circle. So the required integral evaluates to 0. So integration of what? Z modus z is equal to 1. 2x, 2z, sorry, 2z plus 5 by z minus 2 into z minus 3 into z minus 6, dz is equal to 0. Since the point lies, lies outside the uh, curve, mode z is equal to 1. Okay, now we can do the next problem. This is the second problem. Close integral over c z cube by z cube plus 6 z by z square plus 6 z plus 9 d z by c z triangle with vertices 2, 2, 3, 0, 1, 0. If you are given such a question, first thing we have to do is we have to find the poles. That is, denominator you know, uh, variable when equated to 0. z square plus 6 z plus 9 is equal to 0. This is the expansion of z plus 3 the whole square. Z plus Z is equal to minus 3 is the pole and order of the pole is 2. Now we have to plot our curve C. We are given 3 points 1, 0, 3, 0 and 2, 2. 1, 0, 3, 0, 2, 2. This is the region of integration. We have to plot this point uh, Z is equal to minus 3 in this curve. Z is equal to minus 3 is here. Z is equal to minus 3. The pole lies outside this closed curve C. So, we have seen that close integral over C f of z by z minus a d z equates to 0. So, the value of this integral is 0 since the pole lies outside the region of integration. Next question. Next question. Close integral of z minus 4 into z minus 5 d z where c is an ellipse uh, x square by 4 plus y square by 9 is equal to 1. Here uh, our cross curve is an ellipse and uh, the poles are z is equal to 4 and z is equal to 5. The cross curve is an ellipse. The general equation of an ellipse is x square by uh, a square plus y square by b square is equal to 1. Here a is equal to 2 square and b is equal to 3. So we can plot the ellipse 2 0 minus 2 0 0 3 and 0 minus 3. This is our ellipse z is equal to 4 and z is equal to 5 are the poles. Both of these poles lie outside this pole. Since uh, z is equal to 4 lies 2, 3, 4. This is z is equal to 4. 4, 0 is the point. z is equal to 4. And z is equal to 5 is 5, 0. So the both, both of these poles lie outside this closed curve C. So integration of this is dz is equal to 0. So the value is 0. Next question. Minus 3 uh, z plus 4 by z square plus 4 z plus 5. And the region of integration is mod z equal to 1. Mm, first we have to find the pole. 
that its denominator variable when equated to 0 uh, gives a 4. So it is equal to minus b plus 1. We are uh, finding the root of this equation. Minus plus minus b plus or minus root of b square minus 4ac by 2a. Minus 4 plus or minus root of minus 4 by 2. Which is equal to minus 4 plus or minus 2i by 2 or minus 2 plus or minus So the points are minus 2, minus 2 plus i and minus 2 minus i. So the points are minus 2, 1 and minus 2, minus 1. Okay. Now we can uh, see the region of integration. It is a unit circle. It is a circle with center 0, 0 and radius 1. Minus 2, 1. Minus 2. 1. This is the first point. Minus 2, minus 1. Minus 2, minus 1. This is the second point. Both of this point lies outside the unit circle. That is the region of integration. So, the value of this integral is 0. Now we can see another question. This is the next question. Uh, here we are asked to evaluate this integral where c is a quadrilateral with vertices 2 to uh, minus 2 to 3 minus 3 minus 3 minus 3. Uh, our pole is z is equal to 2. And the region of integration is a quadrilateral. We have to plot the quadrilateral 2 to 2 2. This is the point 2 2. Minus 2 2. Minus 2 2. Then 3 minus 3, 3 minus 3, 3 minus 3 and minus 3 minus 3, minus 3 minus 3. This is the required region and we have, uh, we have point is z is equal to 2, z is equal to 2. Is this pole. So, is equal to 2 means 2, 0. The pole lies within the region of integration. So, we have to follow the Cauchy's integral formula. That is, Floss integral over C, f of z by z minus a, d z is equal to 2 pi i into f of a. Here, our question is 2 z square plus 4 z plus 5 by z minus 2 d z which is equal to 2 pi i into here f of z is 2 z square plus 4 z plus 5 and f of a is f of the pole 2 f of 2 is 2 into 2 square plus 4 into 2 plus 5 Okay, we are substituting the value for z as 2. Then we will get 2 pi i into uh, for 2, 2, 2 square 4 2 are 8 plus 4 2 are 8 plus 5. 8 plus 8 16 plus 5 21 into 2 42 pi i is the required answer. This is the next question. More uh, integral over mod z is equal to 3, 2 z plus 4 by z minus 1 into z minus 5. The poles are z is equal to 1 and z is equal to 5. And the region of integration is a circle with the radius 3. And center OJ. Both of this, uh, you can see that one of the pole, 1 0. One pole is 1 0 and the other pole is 5 0. 1 0 lies within the uh, uh, region of integration and 5, 0 lies outside the region of integration. So, we can uh, express this integral as 2z plus 4 by the pole which lies outside as this and inside as like this. Okay, now 
our equation turns to f of z by z minus a d z. Here a is the pole which lies inside the region of integration. That is the a is 1. And if, uh, according to Cauchy's integral formula, the value of the integration is 2 pi i into f of a. That is 2 pi i into f of 1. Here f of z is 2 z plus 4 by z minus 5. So f of 1 is 2 into 1 plus 4 by 1 minus 5. That is 2 pi i into 4 plus 6 by minus 4. Or minus 3 pi i is the required answer. This is the next question. Uh, here uh, the ball is z square plus 4 is equal to 0. So z is equal to root of minus 4. So this is equal to plus or minus 2i is the whole. So, yeah, that is uh, 2i and minus 2i are the two poles. That is 2, 0, 2 and 0, minus 2 are the two poles. And the region of integration is a circle with the Center, center, one, zero, one, and radius two. This is the center, zero, one, and radius two. Two, three, minus one, one, two, three. This is the required circle. Okay, and we have to plot this point 0 to 0 to is this pole and 0 minus 2. 0 minus 2 lies here. 0 minus 2 lies outside the pole and one, one of the pole lies inside the that is 0 2 lies inside and 0 minus 2 uh, lies outside the closed curve C. So uh, for uh, evaluating this integral, we are taking the poles as, sorry, equal to 2 as 1 by the pole which lies uh, inside us is at minus 2y and that lies outside is is at plus 2y z plus 2y lies in, lies outside. So we are taking it along with f of z and z minus 2y. That is z is equal to 2y lies outside. Uh, sorry, inside. Listen. So 2 pi i into f of 2y. And here the f of z is equal to 1 by z plus 2y. That is 2 pi i into 1 by, we are substituting for as a 2i, 2i plus 2i, that is 2 pi i into 1 by 4i, 4 pi by 2, that is the required answer, i and i gets cancelled, 2 and 4 gets cancelled, so pi by 2 is the required answer, next question, this is the next question, integral mod z is equal to cos z by z. Here the pole is z is equal to 0 and the uh, region of integration is unit circle mod z is equal to 1 of radius. Our pole is 0, 0. Okay. It lies inside. So uh, the value of the integral is given by Cauchy's integral formula which is 2 pi i into f of a. Here f of z is cos z. And the uh, value of integral is 2 pi i into f of a is 0. f of 0 that is 2 pi i into cos 0. Cos 0 is 1. 2 pi i into 1 or answer is 2 pi i. 
This is the next question. We have to evaluate integral over 3z plus 1 uh, divided by z into 2z plus 1. Uh, here the uh, closed curve is a unit circle. Uh, the poles are, in order to get pole, we have to rearrange this as can take a 2 as common from this. So it turns to z plus 1 by 2. The poles are z is equal to 0 and z is equal to minus 1 by 2. And the region of integration is the unit circle. Center or G. This is mod z equal to 1. Uh, now, uh, both of the poles, z is equal to 0 and z is equal to 1 by 2. z is equal to 0 is this and z is equal to minus 1 by 2 is this pole. So, both of the poles lies within the uh, given region C. In this kind of problem is, uh, used, is uh, solved by using the method of partial fractions. We can uh, solve this by we can take 1 by 2 offset. So, 3z plus 1 by is equal to z plus 1 by 2. Let's do partial fraction. 3z plus 1 by is equal to z plus 1 by 2. Which is equal to a by z plus b by z plus 1 by 2. 3z plus 1 is equal to a into z plus 1 by 2 plus b into z. Equating the uh, coefficients of z, we will get 3 is equal to a plus b and uh, equating constants 1 is equal to 1 by 2 a or a is equal to 2. Substituting the equation 1 we will get uh, b is equal to 3 minus a or 3 minus 2 which is equal to 1. So the equation becomes 2 by z plus 1 by z plus 1 by 2. So our actual integral will be integral over mod z is equal to 1 3 z plus 1 by 2 is set into z plus 1 by 2 b equal to 1 by 2 into integral of instead of this we can replace 2 by 2 by z plus 1 by 1 plus z plus 1 by 2 so 2 by z dz plus 1 by 2 integral 1 by z plus 1 by 2 dz we know that integral of over this is given by Cauchy's integral formula that is 2 pi i into which is equal to 1 by 2 into 2 pi i into f of here the pole is z is equal to 0. So 2 f of 0 plus 1 by 2 into 2 pi i into here the pole is minus 1 by 2. f of minus 1 by 2. That is 1 by 2 into 2 pi i into here the function is so, substituting f of 0 is 2 itself into 2 plus 1 by 2 into here the function is 1. So, f of minus 1 by 2 is also 1. 1 by 2 into 2 pi i into 1. 2 and 2 gets cancelled. Here the answer is 2 pi i plus pi i. That is 3 pi i is the the question asked in uh, previous question paper of AI 86. Now we can do answer problem. This is the next question. Here the region of integration, uh, the cross curve is modulus is equal to 3. It's a circle with radius 3 and center only. Uh, here the poles are z is equal to uh, 1 and z is equal to 3. Here also we adopt uh, the method of partial fractions. That is z by z minus 1 into z minus 3 is equal to a by z minus 1 plus b by z minus 3. Or z is equal to a into z minus 3 plus b into z minus 1. Equating the coefficients of uh, z1 is equal to a plus b. And equating the constant 0 is equal to minus 3a minus b. And from here we will get b is equal to minus 3a. When we are substituting equation 1, we will get a minus 3a, which is equal to minus 2a. a is equal to minus 1 by 2. And from here, b is equal to minus uh, 3 into minus 1 by 2, that is 3 by 2. 
uh, then this equation will be like uh, minus 1 by 2 we said minus 1 plus b is 3 by 2 by we said minus 3. So our integral will turn to integral of mod z is equal to 3 we said by we said minus 1 into we said plus we said minus 3 d z is equal to integral mod equal to 3 we can replace this by minus 1 by 2 1 by z minus 1 d z and plus 3 by 2 integral 1 by z minus 3 d z by Cauchy's integral formula the value of this integral is 2 pi i into f of here the uh, pole is 1 so f of 1 plus into 2 pi i into here the pole is 3 f of 3 2 and 2 get cancelled so minus pi i into function here the function is 1 so f of 1 is also 1 into 1 plus 3 by 2 and 2 will get cancelled so 3 pi i into f of here also the function is 1 so it is 1 3 pi i minus pi i minus pi i plus 3 pi i which is equal to 2 pi i this is the required answer we can do another problem This is the next problem. Before learning this, we can uh, study Cauchy's integral formula for the first order derivative. Uh, Close integral of c f of z by z minus a the whole square b z. Yeah. Till the last problem, we have seen uh, the pole with order 1. Here, the order of the pole is 2. So, the formula changes to 2 pi i into f dash of a. This is the first derivative. So, this is the Cauchy's integral formula for first order derivative. So, we can see this problem. Here also the order of the pole is 2. So this will uh, be equal to 2 pi i into f dash of a where a is the pole is that is equal to 1. So the answer will be 2 pi i into f dash of 1. Here f of z is z square is at cube plus 4 is at plus 5. So f dash of z will be 3 z square. We have to take the derivative plus 4. And f dash of, here the pole is 1, f dash of 1, f dash of a is, f dash of 1 is, substituting for z as 1, 1 square plus 1, 3 into 1, 3, 3 plus 4, 7. So the answer is 2 pi i into f dash of 1 is 7. So 7 to some 14 pi i is the required answer. This is the next question. Here f of z is c0 plus c1 by z. Then we are asked to evaluate uh, integral over uh, 1 plus f of z by z. That is we have defined 1 plus f of z is given as 0, c0 plus c1 by z. Whole divided by z dz. And the region of integration is u in circle. Which is equal to, uh, let us take the LCM. And this will be z square. Here there is a z. C0, sorry, c0 plus c1 divided by z. So c z plus c0 z plus c1 by this. dz. Here z is equal to 0 is a pole of order 2. So uh, the Cauchy's integral formula is like 2 pi i into f dash of a here a is 0 so 2 pi i into f dash of 0 here f of z is equal to z plus c0 z plus c1 this is the f of z and the first derivative is 1 plus c0 and we have to find f dash of 0 here there is no z so 1 plus c0 is f dash of 0 we are substituting for that 2 pi i into 1 plus c0 is the required answer. So we can do another problem. This is the next question. Uh, here, uh, this is a pole, uh, z is equal to 0 of order 2. It is equal to 2 pi i into f dash of 0. 
here f of z is equal to e raised to minus z. So f dash of z will be the uh, derivative of either e raised to minus z is minus 1 into e raised to minus z is equal to minus e raised to minus z and f dash of 0 is minus e raised to minus 0. E raised to 0 is 1. So minus 1. And our answer is 2 pi i into minus 1 or minus 2 pi i. Okay. Now we can see Cauchy's integral formula, formula for nth order derivative. This is the formula for Cauchy's integral formula for nth order derivative. Nth order derivative. F of z integral over uh, c. F of z by z minus c. The whole raised to n plus 1 d z is 2 pi i by n factorial into f raised to n of a nth order derivative of the function. Uh, this is our question. We have to evaluate 2z raised to 4 uh, plus 5z square plus 6z by z minus 1 the whole raised to 4. Here the pole is uh, z is equal to 1 and its order is 4. So uh, we have to find the nth order that is order of the pole is n plus 1 and order of the derivative is n. So we have to find f uh, raised to 3 of third order derivative in order to evaluate this problem. Here f of z is given as 2 z raised to 4 plus 5 z square plus 6 z. f dash of z will be 2 4 z 8 z cube plus 10 z plus 6 and f 2 dash is 24 z square plus 10 and f 3 dash of z will be 48 z. We have to find f 3 dash of a. Here a is 1. So 48 into 1 is 48. And the uh, required integral will be what is equal to 2, 2 z square is 4 plus 5 z square plus 6 z by z minus 1. The whole raised to 4 will be 2 pi i by n factorial. Here the order is n plus 1. So this is 4 minus 1. That is 3 factorial f. 3 dash of a. Here a is 1. So 2 pi i. 3 factorial is 3 into 2 into 1. 2 into f 3 dash of 1 is 48. So the answer is 2 and 2 gets cancelled. Uh, 3 and 48 get cancelled. 16, 16 pi i. This is the required answer. You can do animal problem. This is the next question. Here the pole is z is equal to 1 and its order is 4. And we have to find the third order derivative. And it will be equal to, this will be equal to 2 pi i by 3 factorial into f 3 dash of a is 1. Okay, we have, uh, here uh, we are given f of z as e raised to 2 z. So f dash of z will be 2 e raised to 2 z. f double dash of z is the next derivative. 2 into 4 e raised to 2 z. F 3 dash of z is 8 e raised to 2 z. We have to find F 3 dash of a. The a is what? 8 into e raised to 2 into 1. That is 8 e square. So our answer will be 2 pi i by 3 factor is 3 into 2 into 1 into F 3 dash of 1 is 8 e square. That is 2 and 2 gets cancelled. 8 pi i e squared by 3 is the required answer. Into another table. Sorry, here uh, this is from uh, plus 1, this is minus 1. We can do the next problem. This is the next problem. Here the pole is z is equal to pi by 6 and order of the pole is 3. So we have to find the second order derivative that is n my uh, n. The order is n plus 1. Uh, so it will be equal to uh, 2 pi i into f 2 dash of a, a is pi by 6. 
Here we have given f of z as sine square on the set. We have defined f dash of z which is equal to 2 sin z and the derivative of sin z is cos z. 2 sin a cos b is sin 2 a, sin 2 z. f2 dash of z is derivative of sin 2 z. Derivative of sin is cos, cos 2 z into the derivative of 2 z is 2. So 2 cos 2 z. And we have defined f2 dash of the pole pi by 6. 2 into cos 2 into pi by 6. 2 and 3 get cancelled. 2 and 6 get cancelled. So 2 cos pi by 3. Cos pi, pi by 3 is 16. The cos 60 is 1 by 2. So 2 into 1 by 2. 1. And our required answer is 2 pi i into f2 f2 dash of pi by 6 which is equal to 1. So 2 pi i is the required answer. We uh, I think you are all clear with the portion Cauchy's integrative formula. We have covered many problems from this section. If you have any doubt, you can comment below. Thank you.